Michael Moore's coming, take down the two Nexus turrets, the Nexus itself will follow, after 43 minutes they break through the defense of Rock. Side of that rush, Genja safe. Yeah, Genja manages to get away, the rest of Gambit can respond, and they've started the fight. Oh, here comes the teleport down as well. Actually, the wild growth was used very early. Strangle Thorns coming out, but Darian dives into the middle of them. Won't quite finish off Unlimited, who went very low. Edward truly will fall. Young will get that one. Darian has to flash away, but the Copenhagen Wolves are gonna keep going. They managed to get that one as well. It's Airwax that goes on the killing spree. Do you want to touch on Darian going Doran's blade? First, he's got 3% lifesteal, and we'll talk about that in a second. Nick is going to get caught. Oh, it's going to be a lot of damage once again. He flashes Airwax, flashes in as well. Turret is coming down. Now look at this. Gambit actually invading on the enemy blue buff. We'll take it. However, they are going to be getting the turret as well at the same time. So overall, really nicely working out as well. I'm going to get Cocoon. The hook had already come out. And there was the stealth coming in. Actually, Unlimited gone very deep on this one. He did put down the Strangle Young Youngbot gonna teleport in at the bottom side. They get the kill there onto Unlimited. And Edward will also fall down. Can they now get in towards Genja? No real big CC to help that out. And Diamond is actually on top of that ward that I was talking about there before. Tori, of course, did die. Now Airwax has been spotted out by Nick. There is Diamond diving in. Youngbot gonna stun him up. This is a lot of damage and a kill for Youngbot. That was a great flash from Youngbot there. It was a near point blank cocoon. Great lantern on Airwax. Oh, is Genja actually going to go too deep on this one? They're Woolite and Count out of there. Unlimited coming in. There's another one. This time onto Airwax. Wild Grunt comes down. Strangle Thorns as well. Have they got enough this time around? They've left Darian completely alone at the back. Diamond was trying to get onto him, and this time Youngbuck doing a great job of keeping them all away. And the Copenhagen Wolves turning this one around. They've got two already. Can they get any more? Can they be able to back off? This is a flank from Airwax. This is where he could really excel, especially if Gambit get themselves grouped up together. They know that Diamond is off to the side. Airwax is now this is behind the time. enemy lines. They're going to go for this one. He gets the ulti up onto two. Who's the focus going to be? Looks like they're trying to get back to Genja with Youngbuck, who gets pulled in there. Would Nick be destroyed by Wolan? Going to use a last second intervention. Diamond will go up in the air, but he's going to pay with his life. It's only a single kill, but loads of them. Are, actually, there's two kills. That went down, of course. The other's really low. Have to go back. Not from it nicely, but that's actually going to leave Edward and Genjo alone. And look at this, Young Buck, uh, sorry, Kowtard is going to be coming in there quickly. Good hook onto Kowtard, Genja will allow, be allowed to get up towards the side and the rest of the team coming around from this one. Well, I have picked up Genja now, can they get any more from it? Darian split between Kowtard and Unlimited, but Diamond the focus for the Copenhagen Wolves. He goes up in the air, Well, I will finish him up for the again. triple kill here with Twitch. Darian is too low to do anything, the Wolves going to try and push it home, and they've even got Kowtard trying to chase him down. He oh, out. she gets out. So just Darren survived, time. but I don't think it's going to be enough. Gamma completely splits up while retreating. They've been flanked before. They're dealing with stealth champions of Evelyn and Twitch, and they give themselves the opportunity to be flanked. Copenhagen will yes. punish Gambit, and they're going to take this Nexus down. They've picked themselves up a win. Brilliant game from the Copenhagen Wolves. Definitely got enough here to finish this one off and taking down Gambit. Only their third win of the season here in the summer split. And a much needed win as well. A sigh of relief, no doubt, for the Copenhagen Wolves. They played it well in the later stages, baiting them into that barren time after time after time. And so the one time that it goes right, yep. that's where you turn it into the win.